Welcome to EC Electronics. In this video, we are going to see some tips to remember the truth table and the excitation table of flip-flops. So we know that uh, there are four types of flip-flops basically that are SR, JK, Toggle and D. Okay, so we'll see how to uh, study these uh, flip-flops, the truth tables and excitation tables very easily and how to remember this for your examination. Okay, so this is actually a summary of your flip-flops. Okay, first I am going to take the SR flip-flop. Now I am going to draw the circuit diagram of the SR flip-flop. Using the AND, sorry, NAND realization I am going to draw. So there is two NAND gates here. There is a first input S to the first gate. Then second to the next NAND gate. Then connecting these two I am going to give the clock signal. In the output side also, there are two gates, NAND gates again. So you can also have uh, the AND and NO realization. But here I am using all NAND gates. Okay, now connecting the out, output to the input side or to the uh, gates in a cross way. So like this, the output coming here is Q and here it is Q bar. Okay. Now let us see what is the truth table of SR. Truth table. So this truth table is drawn by giving various combinations for S and R and considering what is the, the next state output. That is QT plus 1. We are going to see S, R are the inputs and QT plus 1 is the output. Now for the combination of 0 and 0, Qt plus 1 is actually Qt. That is there is no change. Then for 0 and 1 it is a 0. That is a reset state. Okay. So 1 and 0 it is a 1 and it is set state. And for 1 and 1 it is not stable. It is actually racing between 0 and 1 and hence we call it as a race condition. So this is actually happening because of the delay of the transistors. We know that the, in the flip-flops also we are using transistors. So if we are making the value of both S and R is 1, the transistor will take some time to settle or to reach that 1. So the output cannot be predicted as 0 or 1. So there is a race between the zero and zero state and one state in the output. So that is called the race condition or we say this is an unstable state. Now if you study this truth table, then you can uh, draw the, the excitation table of SR, the truth table of JK and the excitation table of JK. So only thing you uh, need to study is this. Okay, now let us try to uh, write the Excitation table of SR flip-flop. I'm going to write it here. Excitation table. So for excitation table, we need QT and QT plus 1. That is present state and next state outputs we need. And we need to find what are the combinations possible for S and R. Now we are going to give the various uh, combinations for uh, this QT and QT plus 1. That is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. And let us see how can the S and R come. Okay. So let me uh, just tell you the first condition is 0, 0. Right. So it is uh, QT is 0, QT plus 1 is also 0. So this can be either the no change state or it can be either since the, uh, the present or the next state output is 0, it can be either a reset state. Because in the reset state also, the output is 0. And since there is no change in the output, that is Qt and Qt plus 1 are 0, right? So it can be either of these conditions, that is no change or reset condition can come. So the combinations are for S and R, 0, 0 or 0, 1 combination, right? So, one thing is clear that S is 0. But if you see R, it is 0 and it is 1. So, we are not sure about R. So, we will put a don't care. 
So like this, you have to write the excitation table. Okay. Now let us see the next case. 0, 1. Here you are. Uh, the output is changing from 0 to 1. Okay. Now, uh, since it is changing to 1, it is a what, uh, what condition? It is a set state. So, this is your condition. So, the value of S and R is 1 and 0. Now, for 1, 0, the output is resetting to 0. So, your combination for S and R will be S is 0, R is 1. Okay. Now, for the combination of 1 and 1, this output is can, output can be either a no change or it can be a set state. Because your output that is the next state output is 1 and also there is no change in the outputs. The previous output was also 1, the current output is also 1. So, it can be either a no change state or it can be either a set state. Okay. So, let us see what are the combinations of S and R. 0, 0 and 1, 0. Okay. So, the output R is 0. Sorry, the R value is 0. But not sure about the S value, right? So, we put a don't care. So, this is how you have to write the excitation table from the truth table. I hope this is clear. Now, this is all about SR flip-flop. Now, let us see how to draw the JK flip-flop using these details. Another important thing to know is that the JK flip-flop is actually designed to avoid this race condition. So, this race condition is actually one demerit of your SR flip-flop. In the uh, tooth table of JK, if you see, there is no race around conditions generally or naturally happening. And here, the race condition is replaced with a toggle state. Okay. So, the circuit diagram of JK I'll draw first. For the JK flip-flop, again I'm using NAND realization. Here there is a J. Here there is a K. Again, connecting these two, there is a clock. There is again two other NAND gates. Here again, cross connecting the outputs. Okay. Now, here it is Q. Here it is Q bar. And also, here Q bar is connected to J. And Q is connected to K. So, these are the connections of a JK flip-flop. So, only change in connection is from Q bar there is a connection to J and from Q there is a connection to K. Okay. Now, let us uh, write the truth table. The truth table of JK is exactly the same of SR. Only the change is 1-1 one, one condition. There is a toggle condition. Okay. So, for J, K. So, if you study this, as I said, Mostly uh, all the things you can write because the D flip-flop and toggle flip-flop are very easy to study. So, for J and K combinations, your QT plus 1 or the next state will be for 0, 0, it is QT or the no change. Now, for 0, 1, it is 0, that is reset again. For 1, 0, it is 1, that is set state. And for 1, 1, it is QT bar or toggle state. Okay, so that is how the truth table of JK will look like. Now, if the truth table is this, there is only a minute change in the excitation table also. Okay, I'm going to now uh, draw the excitation table for J. Sorry. You have to use QT and QT plus 1, right? QT plus 1. The values of J and K we need to find. I'm going to give various combinations of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Okay. So here, as I said earlier, since the truth table of uh, the uh, SR and the JK is almost the same, the excitation table is also the same, almost. Okay, so how the output of J and K is going to come? 
So the first row that is 4, 0, 0 is same and also for 1, 1 combination the value of j and k is equal to SR value that is x0. Now for a 0, 1 combination for uh, SR it is 1, 0 right. But for the case of jk since the last state is a toggle state there is some change that is here it is not 1, 0 here it is 1x and also for 1, 0 here also for 1, 0 here it is 0, 1 right here it is x1. So this is how the truth uh, the excitation table differs from that of the SR uh, flip-flops excitation table. So if you see the excitation table is Mostly the same, only difference is for 0, 1 and 1, 0 combination. Here it is 1, 0 uh, for S and uh, R. Here it is 1 and don't care. And for uh, 1, 0, uh, that is for QT and QT plus 1. Here the value is 0, 1. Here it is X1. So that is how you can study the truth table and excitation table very fast. So if you know the truth table of SR flip-flop, as I said, you can uh, study or you can write the excitation table of SR and hence you can write the excitation table of JK. And also the truth table is 90% is or 99% the same. Only difference is for 1-1 one, one condition. Here it is QT bar or toggle state. Okay, so these are the two flip-flop that is SR and JK. We are going to discuss the D and the T flip-flop. And we are going to connect the diagrams and how can we study these two uh, flip-flops connected. Okay. So first let us see the D flip-flop. We know that in D flip-flop it will pass the value of D to the output. That is just happening in a D flip-flop. That is whatever the uh, value given in uh, D it will be coming as an output. Okay. So the realization will be like this. Here also I am using NAND gate realization. So there is only a single input which is D. Right. So this D is being connected to this NAND gate also with the help of another NAND gate. Okay, again connecting these two there is a clock signal here and here also the value of output is cross connected to the gates. Here it is a Q, here it is a Q bar. So this is a logic diagram of a D flip flop. Now the truth table is for D. Qt plus 1 is exactly the same. If it is 0, then it is 0. If it is 1, then the value of next state is 1. How will be the excitation table? Okay, we are going to take Qt and Qt plus 1. And we are going to see what is the value of D. We are going to give various combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Okay. The value of D is exactly the QT plus 1 or the next state values. So 0, 1, 0, 1 is the value of D. So this is how the excitation table, truth table and the logic diagram of the D flip-flop will look like. Okay, so this is very simple. That is whatever value is given to D, it will be coming as the output. Now how the T flip-flop will look like? T flip-flop means... Toggle flip-flop, that is whatever the input is giving, if toggle value is equal to 1, then it is going to complement. Okay, the diagram is almost similar to it, but with uh, slight changes, just like a JK. Okay, there is a NAND gate here, there is another NAND gate. Connecting these two, there is a T value given and also a clock. Okay, so here again, there are two gates at the output side. They are cross connected and also similar to the JK, we write it here, T flip flop. Similar to the JK, this is Q, this is Q bar, right? So this Q bar is taken to this gate and this Q is taken to this gate. Okay, so this connection uh, is similar to your JK's connection, right? So this is the JK flip-flop realization. Now the truth table, how will it look like T and QT plus 1? That is next state. So if value of uh, T is 1, 
then okay let's take first zero if value of t is zero that is the total condition is set as zero means qt plus one is qt itself if t is one it is qt complement that is when toggle is set to one if where one is given it will change as zero or if a zero is given it is changed as one or it is toggled that is the case now let us see the excitation table so this flip flop is actually very easy to study only thing is that you should be uh, familiar with the concepts okay uh, in questions if you see in cognitive exam mostly the uh, the question will be connected to your uh, the truth table and the excitation table also and also uh, some conditions they will be given so uh, if you know the truth table and the excitation table you can answer all these questions okay and in these are also useful for your semester exams also okay so excitation table so here we are going to consider the values of qt qt plus 1 and we are going to find the values of t so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 there are the combinations for a 0 to 0 there is no change so total value will be 0 0 to 1 there is a change so total value is 1 1 to 0 there is a change so total value is 1 1 to 1 there is no change so total value is 0 so this is how the truth tables of the d flip flop and the j uh, the toggle flip flop will look like okay so whenever you are studying any topic try to study those topic connected with any other topic uh, in that subject okay so in flip flops you can actually connect the two flip flops sr and jk together and d and uh, t together so if you uh, study this uh, flip flops in a connected manner it is easy to uh, remember and also reproduce in your exams okay so i hope these things are familiar to you now and uh, this is actually a capsule video which will be useful for your preparation for competitive exams i hope this was useful if yes, please do give this a thumbs up and also share this video with all your friends. And if you want uh, more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.